Ruth and her nine-year-old son take showers together. Branda and Dan were open about nudity until something happened, and now they think twice about being naked in front of their kids. Andrea feels that being naked around the kids is so dangerous that she and her husband no longer bathe their four-year-old daughter. If you're a parent or a grandparent or ever plan to have kids, you won't want to miss what we're talking about today. Nudity in front of the kids. Can it cause irreparable damage to your children? show that provides solutions to your problems with Barbara DeAngelis. There are so many difficult decisions parents need to make. And when our kids are infants, no one thinks about things like nudity. But as the kids grow older, we all have to decide when is it right for us to be naked around our children in the home? When is it right for the children to be naked around us? We're going to be talking about that day, trying to find some answers, because it's not an easy topic. All right. Thank you all for coming, first of all. We want to talk to you first, Ruth. We're, people are saying, nine years old. That's old to be taking showers with, with your son. Actually, he's eight and a half. He's eight and a half. All right. So we'll give you that half year. What have you gone through in trying to make decisions as a mom about what's OK, what's not OK? Instinct just felt when when it wasn't going to be right anymore, I'd know by what I could tell from him. And that's what I'm comfortable with, and that's what he's grown up with. So he's grown up with a lot of freedom? Yeah. Not where, how were you brought up? Not that way. Not that way? No, tell no. me about it. My, I don't remember ever having seen my parents naked. It was politically very liberal, but it was not um, physically very liberal. Okay. So and repression it, in the household? Not politically. but. Yeah, in some ways, yeah. Okay. So you weren't ever, for instance, taking a shower with your parents no. or anything like that? Okay. When you got pregnant and had a child, did you make any conscious decisions about what to do, what not to do? I made a lot of conscious decisions, but they didn't have to do with nudity. Nudity was more, it was a question of raising a family with one bathroom and um, starting to raise my, to bathe my son and... And it was also a fun time for us. Mm -hmm. It was a time to play around. And as he got into preschool, it was like a time for him to relax, too. It was a time he would say, hey, Mom, guess what happened today on the <laughs> playground kind of thing. And um, I think it still is for him. That's what it feels like. Yeah. Bathing is, and I'm sure all the parents here agree, it's probably one of the only times when you and your child are alone with not mm -hmm. the TV, none of the other kids around. So it's a special time for intimacy. But here's my concern. And the concern of many experts about this is that there is a point when kids begin to learn about sexuality and begin to be conscious of their bodies, your bodies, the difference, especially with a child of the opposite sex. How are you feeling as your son is getting older, becoming more mature about being in the shower with him or being in the tub with him? I figure there's a time at which it's going to be phased out, which is probably fairly soon. Um, but not because of what anybody else thinks, just because of things that I'm picking up from him. So far, when I say, do you want to take a bath by yourself, no. So um, but what is, about, time what about the boundaries? In other words, he's used to walking in, seeing you naked, taking a right. shower. How does he translate that when, for instance, he goes to friends' houses or when you have people come over? He's modest when, people, when he sees other people naked. I don't know how he is in other people's houses since I don't usually go with him. Okay. Here's, I hope not. Here's, here's the problem, and it's something to think about when kids get to a certain age about being naked with them, they're being naked with you, and that is that many times kids don't know how to express the changes in the feelings that they're going through. Um, I think probably 20 years ago, 9-year-olds, 10-year-olds were not as mature as they are now. They didn't have TV, they didn't have seeing a lot of things they see in movies. But I think something for you to be aware about as a parent, and we're going to be talking about this today because there's a lot of opinions on this, is when he begins to feel more sexual in general, and I think it happens with kids way earlier, doesn't it, than it used to, he will begin to experience enjoying that bathing time with you, but it's going to be for different reasons. And he may 
not know how to articulate those reasons. And so you say, do you want to bathe with mommy? He may say yes. I think it gets articulated. I think he speaks up. Yeah. So. It's something to be cautious about only because for a child to be experiencing growing sexual feelings and to still be experiencing mom, not just as mom, but now suddenly, look, mom has these parts and these parts, and these parts mean different things to me. Uh, it can cause confusion, and it's something just to be conscious of. You're right, I think the phasing out time is at hand, and that's also a difficult thing. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys have kids that are younger. Her son's eight and a half. How old are your children? Uh, we have a son who's four and a daughter who's six. Okay. And what's your experience been with this? I know that you've gone through some changes. You had one attitude in the beginning, and now you're thinking about maybe changing some of the ways you behave with the kids. Uh, we, we've been changing, actually, probably the last two years. Uh, we're sort of in transition right now. Uh, we began to think about maybe setting some boundaries uh, for our kids when our son was two and our daughter was four. So we're, we're trying to change some of those things right now. Why is that important to you, to change it now? Uh, well, I personally began thinking about it when I had read the book, The Good Mother. And what happened in the book concerned me and got me thinking about um, our own behaviors. And what was it about the book? Some people may not have read it. There was a movie, wasn't there a movie made? Right. With somebody, Diane? Well, Keaton. to make a long story short, it, it had to do with uh, nudity and a small, small girl. I think she was about six at the time. And how her curiosity turned catastrophic in this movie. And I felt the same thing could happen in our family. Um, you never know. Something completely innocent could possibly become dangerous. It could be misconstrued. So uh, I talked with Dan about, you know, well, something like this could happen, and maybe we ought to think about not being quite as relaxed as we are with the kids. So changing the attitude. All right, we're going to talk more about this. Talk to Andrea when we come back. Don't forget. We're talking about nudity in the home, what's right, what's wrong. We're all trying to figure it out. We're talking to both of you about your kids. You have a two-year-old, a four-year-old, and in the beginning, you just didn't think about it. I mean, no one thinks about nudity with an infant because they're not even like a person yet. They're not really sexual. You read the book, The Good Mother, Got You Scared. Now, she comes to you and says, honey, I'm worried we're ruining our kids. We're going to you know, pervert them. How did you feel about it? I don't think it was any radical change over there. We just decided kind of, uh, well, I think it's about time. We'll just start wearing, uh, wearing underpants. And it's still the, uh, the kids might come in into our bathroom or something, and we're going to be naked. We won't make a big deal about it. So That's... it's not so much letting the kids know there's a change, but initiating a change right. subtly. Okay. Are you more comfortable now? Do you think the kids are more comfortable? I think so. I don't think there's any, there was any big uh, changeover. Mm -hmm. I think uh, life is as usual. What, were you, what was the fear? What were you scared about? Because there are people at home, they're watching, they have a one-year-old, and they don't even think about clothes. And they're thinking, gee, soon my kids are going to be three, four, eight. And they're wondering what that fear is for a parent. I don't think there's anything wrong with it until somebody points to you and says there is something wrong with it. It's pretty much how you... Um, like, and the kids don't know there's anything wrong with it until you scream at them and say, you know, like, don't look at that or, you know, put your don't clothes on. Don't run out of the house naked, yeah. up and down the street five times. You just <laughs> teach them a little modesty. And yeah. See, that's a great word, modesty. Uh, there's a difference between modesty and shame. A lot of, let me just ask the audience for a minute. How many of you grew up in a home where uh, there was a lot of covering up and you weren't supposed to walk around without any clothes and there was a kind of a sense that your body maybe was not something you show, kind of shame in the house. How many had the opposite? Everyone was whatever you wanted to do. See, there's a difference. Shame means there's something wrong with my body. You shouldn't look at somebody else's body. Nakedness is bad. Modesty means that there are times and places where we show ourselves intimately, and there are times that we don't. And there are people we are intimate or naked with and people we're not. And one of the problems, I think, with kids who get used to being in a home where everything is free all the time is sometimes, not always, but sometimes they may have difficulty learning those boundaries as they get older and not understanding why they can't walk into you know, a friend's house and just take off their clothes or whatever it is. All right, we have to get to you. 
Tell us about your situation. You have a four-year-old daughter? I have a daughter who's four and a half and an eight-month-old son. Okay. You've heard kind of divergent opinions here. Uh, she's still taking showers with her son, feels it's okay. They've put some boundaries in their house. Where are you? Well, for me, I think one of the key words is boundaries. I think also age appropriate, as you said before. Uh, I think that there are reasons to really consider what you're doing and, first of all, how our society is today. Uh, teaching your children a uh, way of behaving that is safe. For instance, if you do one thing in your home, why is it that you can't do that? somewhere else, for instance, walking around naked. So I feel that I, it's important to place these, these limits on children to, to help them to mature, to grow into people that are comfortable with themselves. And I really do stress that I do teach my little girl, I mean, my son is too young at this point, but to be comfortable with herself and with her body and to not feel ashamed and to not express it to her in a way that will frighten her in any way because I want her to feel good about herself. But I also... Yeah. So, all right. I want to come back and find out exactly how you've done that, because a lot of people are saying, OK, how do you do that? Because I'm not sure how to make the transition. And we're going to talk more about what's right, what's wrong, and how old kids should be when we think about this question. So don't go away. <laughs> we're talking about nudity in the home. When should we begin to be concerned about putting up some boundaries, some modesty in the house? All right, Andrew, we're talking to you. You have two kids. Tell me your feelings about what decisions you and your husband have made regarding bathing your daughter. We talked about that a little bit before. Okay, first, um, my daughter enjoys taking baths by herself. And, and I also feel, again, that being nude in the bathroom is an appropriate place to be nude. That's different than walking around your house. Uh, I think it's okay if I take baths with my daughter, although I don't very often. Um, my husband and I don't really think that, I, we think that she's gotten a little bit old for him to be taking baths with her. But then again, I don't have a problem with him going in there, washing her hair, or doing whatever, because I totally trust him. He's my husband. We have a very good relationship. I don't have any problems with that. But I think that there is a time when it's something to consider, should your daughter be taking a bath with the man or... Does he feel more comfortable now not doing it? I think so, yeah. yes. Yeah. Some of you men feel this way, that you might feel more comfortable. You see, I think that what we're starting to get into here is the sex difference. Mm -hmm. uh, being nude around kids of the same sex, I think, is different yeah. from being nude around kids of a different sex, especially when kids get to that age mm -hmm. and they are more concerned about I see body parts on you that I don't have. What do they mean? And then when they understand that people do things with those body parts, when they get to be about seven, eight, nine years old, that's when you want to really be concerned and make sure that your kid's cu natural curiosity is not turning into something more. And the best thing to do is ask your kids. And they won't always tell you right away either because they get a little embarrassed about all of this. I also um, think you need yeah. to explain to your kids what the different body parts are when they get to an age that's appropriate for that. Yes, absolutely. Right. Yes. Um, I have a son that's 10 years old, and um, he and I still take showers together. Now, we do talk about it. And um, my husband and I have talked about it when we first got married, about how we felt about being nude in front of the children and what was appropriate and what wasn't appropriate. Um, and we've tried to stress that there are times when privacy is important. And if someone says, you know, I feel more comfortable if you weren't here, then that's fine. And we respect that. How often do you take a shower together? Oh, whenever it comes up. We don't do it every day, obviously. But um, we do it often enough for it to be a common thing. And he takes showers with my husband as well. When are you going to stop? When I, well, I was just going to say, it's, he's 10. Um, and it's getting You're to the it time. Real close there. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> screeching into puberty. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking that. I, uh, well, I've been, and my husband and I have been talking about the fact that it's getting to be that time when we need to start thinking about that. And I've talked to my son about it. Um, I mentioned, well, does it bother you? And he says, does what bother me? You know, it's. But see, he, your, your son is used to this. He's having a certain oh, experience. I agree with I mean, you. There's nothing. Ten-year-old boys don't particularly dislike bathing with a naked woman. 
Well, well and, that's a valid point. And, and I even was though, going, but let me say, even though it's mom, and right. I think that uh, the time is at hand because for a 10 year old to say, Mom, I'm feeling uncomfortable, just saying that's going to make him uncomfortable. And he and you are getting something out of it. And well, it's a very nice time, you know. I'm sure it is. It's, 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 a, well, we talk. Please. <laughs> no, it's, we we're not talk. talking about sex. It we, is, we talk, and he tells me about what he's thinking and what's going on at school. But can and he do that not in the cool. shower? Of course he can. And I, what, look, I had a question I wanted to ask is that what kinds of things do you look for? What comments do you listen for? What body language do you watch for that would give you the idea that he is getting uncomfortable, even though he would maybe not say I don't I'm think that we should put the the responsibility for telling us on our children some children are very outspoken and they will just start naturally saying at four or five don't come in the bathroom mom a lot of you've had your kids do that right a lot of you didn't some kids won't it depends on how much they need from you it depends on how much you need from them if they feel you're gonna kind of getting something out of it especially if you're a single parent sometimes such as in Ruth's case so I don't think you should wait till he says, Mother, being naked with you is not comfortable anymore. I think that part of being a parent is knowing things that our kids don't know and making and setting boundaries for the kids because we're supposed to know better. So don't wait for him. Do it yourself if you feel better. All right. We'll be back. Dr. When I was growing up, my parents were nudists. And when I was very, very little, I guess I didn't know any, any difference, but uh, as I got closer to puberty, I know it bothered me, and they didn't really change their behavior and expected me to undress in front of them and kind of made fun of my natural modesty, didn't really respect my boundaries. Right. Um, it, it was, I, I couldn't really tell them. I couldn't come right out and say, no, I won't do this. It's just, you know, I'd cringe a little, and they'd say, ah, you know, right. it's natural. Right, you should be more relaxed. This, right. is, this is an important point. Sometimes kids will tell you, sometimes they won't. But it's important to never make fun of children for whatever attitude they have. If your kids are not comfortable with it, don't say, oh, you should be more open. I agree with that. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yes. <laughs> yeah, hi. hi. Um, I have an 11-year-old son, and we started out taking showers together. And when he got about seven, I picked up hints from him that he wanted his privacy, and I grew up in a home where everybody was covered, but it was no big deal. And I want to know more about what the experts really say about this. You've been hinting around, and I did it um, on my own. I never read a book, and I want to know what the experts say. Well, I think you made the right decision. You took his cues that he was uncomfortable, and at a certain age, you became more conscious. That's the same thing that these parents did. When your kids get to begin to really notice the difference between boys and girls and start to notice more about sexuality, that's the age when you want to sit down, talk to your partner if you have one, if not, talk to some of your friends, and begin to set some boundaries in the home. Talk to your children about it. Ask them what they're comfortable with. If they feel okay being naked, if they don't mind you coming into the bathroom, that's fine. But at some point, you need to do what you feel is best for your kids, and you need to also do what you're comfortable with. Because, see, sometimes kids are comfortable with more nudity than we are, and we feel funny about it, and that's okay, too. You have to honor your values and your children's. The most important thing is be honest, talk about it, and never make kids feel that the body is something bad or wrong or anything they should be ashamed of. I want to thank all of you for being with us and especially thank our panel for being so honest about their opinions. Don't go away. We'll be right back with something special for you. In the weeks to come, we're going to be doing a lot of shows about kids for parents and for grandparents because we know it's something you care about and have a lot of questions about. If you have a question about raising children, write to me in care of this address. We'll try to do a show that helps you. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.